Welcome to the Coach Kyle Show. Golazo! 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 Hi and welcome back to another episode of the Coach Kyle Show. Um, as we oftentimes say, greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. I'm your host, Coyote McKinnon. Um, if you don't know, this show, we speak all things soccer. Um, but our ultimate goal here is to impact and inspire the lives of our young people. Um, that is our purpose, so that we could help them live out their purpose. Um, that is very important in these very um, trying and uncertain times. Um, you really need to understand purpose to live a fulfilled life. No matter the distractions, no matter the, the struggles, um, you were born to do a specific thing. And if you're able to connect with that thing, then you're on your path uh, to live in a fulfilled and healthy, but more so a productive life. Nevertheless, we want to bring you uh, scores and stats as we always do to keep you abreast of what is happening within within the environment, within the soccer community. Um, tonight, we want to share what is happening in the NWSL. They just started the Challenge Cup. And here to bring you some scores and stats is the great Tawal Ahmed. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and all athletes. Welcome to another segment of Scores and Stats. The 2022 NWSL League has begun with the annual Challenge Cup tournament. A total of six games were played this week, and let's get straight into it. Race in Louisville versus Kansas City FC. Race in Louisville, total of 1-1. Sorry, the total of 1-1 was the end of that score line. Race in Louisville goal was scored by CC Kaiser in the 20th minute. And the Kansas City goal was scored by Addie McCain in the 78th minute. Old Rain versus Portland Thorn. That game ended in 1 1. Old Rain goal was scored by Sophia Herrera in the 19th minute. And the Portland Thorn was scored by Christine Sinclair in the 28th minute. Orlando Pride versus Washington Spirit. That game ended in a 0 0 score line. And then we had North Carolina Courage versus Gotham FC. Game ended in 2-0 from North Carolina. Goal was scored by Brianna Pinto in the 20-22nd and Abby Irish in the 51st minute. Go a little bit more in depth with that game. Shots total, North Carolina had 17, Gotham FC with four. Shots on target, North Carolina had four, Gotham FC with one. Possession, North Carolina had 58, Gotham FC with 42. Pass accuracy, North Carolina had 81, Gotham FC with 71. Quarters, corners in total was four each from both sides. Angel City versus San Diego Wave. Angel City goal was scored by Savannah McKizzle in the 49th minute. And the San Diego Wave goal was scored by Clear Reach in the 81st minute. Houston Dash versus Chicago Red Stars. Houston Dash goal was scored by Katie Hudson in the 19th minute. And the Chicago Red Star goals were scored by Mallory Pugh in the 28th and 60th minute of the game, and Aaron Wright in the 58th minute with a penalty scored. You can look for more scores and stats on our next show here at 8 Eastern p.m. time every Monday night. Also, if you'd like to sponsor this segment, you can contact us via website or cash app listed on your screen. Enjoy the rest of the show and have a safe and blessed night.
Toyota McKinnon and company are ready to dress you in one of their most stylish, comfortable and attractive athletic gears this fall for you to achieve that desired athletic goal. Check out their online store today for your joggers, tank tops, bras, backpacks, sweatshirts and everything else you'll need to complete that look. It's Coyote McKinnon and Company. We care. Welcome back to the Coach Kyle Show. You with Coyote McKinnon. If you're now joining us, I want to say hello wherever you are, and I want to say good night wherever you are. Some people say good night as hello, and some people say good night as goodbye. Hi, Sonia. Thanks for coming through. Um, we are here. Um, yeah, continue to share, continue to get your friends in, your colleague, your teammate. Get them in this show. It's a very important show. Um, we'll be taking this from a totally, from a total different perspective, so that you truly understand um, what is happening. Um, the objective here is to make sure that we add some value and eradicate perception. This show will be about that. So, can we add value to your life? Can we add value to how you move forward? So. If you haven't, if you haven't, please share, please share. Um, please do support the the march. Uh, we understand sports. You know, we've played a little bit. So we understand uh, some of the things that comes with comfort when you want to when you want to perform. So a lot of uh, our clothing, it's 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 a total representation of that. So feel free. Maybe it's not for you. It could be for your friend. It could be for your cousin. It could be for your sister. It could be for your brother. What about your niece and your nephew? Who knows? Okay. Um, what are we talking about tonight? What are we speaking about tonight? Um, training don't get you better. And, and before, you know, what is, what is what is he talking about? Okay. You know, just give me a chance to uh, go through this thing and see if it can add some value um, to your life. Nevertheless, um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so on our YouTube channel, Kyra McKinnon and Co., um, so that you can help us to bring this message um, all over the world. Um, when it's not for you, it's okay. But it it might be for someone else. Because we all go to YouTube and we all go to YouTube, we all go to different social media to find sometimes something that could be inspiring, something that could help us to move forward. Uh, but training don't get you better. Training don't get you better. Um, and I want you to take some time to to, to give yourself some space to grow. Don't don't be fixed. Don't be set in in whatever you're thinking. You know, give yourself an opportunity to grow in this moment because you never know. You know, sometimes things just need a different perspective, and we oftentimes do this. We do that on this show because it's uncommon. One, um, it's unscripted because purpose don't need script. Um, purpose don't need image because if you need an image, then you're neglecting the image that was already given to you from birth. You know, he said, you were made in my image and likeness. So if you're looking for image, um, if, you, if you're seeking um, something that you can sell outside of who you are, then you're disqualified to, to bring any form of trans transformation to the lives of people. Because that's what we're really here for, if you're not sure. We're really here. No matter what is happening in our life, we've got to navigate ourselves back to impacting the lives of others. So regardless, it's what, it what make our show 
very, very authentic because it's coming from um, a place of experiences, from what you you were told, um, from what people are telling you and what they're living through, which is the reality. So it's important. So I'll give you a short break so that you can go and do what you need to do. And if you don't need to go and do anything, this is um, a chance to get a bit of insight from the tactical side of the game. We'll be right back just after this short break. We ask you to start compact. Now, when this ball is here with JP, we want to be able to force them to the right side of the field. But Henry, you must start on the inside of the field, Henry, to give up this on the outside. Do you understand? Yeah. Alex is stepping to force him right. So, right? Alex is, if Alex come out to the block, right? If Alex come out to the block, then Alex must be able to force JP to the right side of the field. Do you guys understand? Okay? And then, once they go right, then we keep them right side. And we stay compact. Let's go again. Come on. Welcome back to the Coach Kyle Show. You're with Kyle the McKinnon. Please do share. Please do share. Please do share this live. It's a very important live. It's a very important show tonight. Training don't get you better. There's no better way um, than training with purpose. If you had a chance to really pay pay attention to what happened, you would you would have seen the outcome of what was what was um, displayed, uh, the, 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 the commands and the cues to actually um, complete the task, and it was. So it's always an exciting time when you can truly uh, benefit from what you're doing on a regular basis. So let's jump into this. Let's jump into this topic. Yeah, feel free to share your comments, maybe ask a question. If you if you wish, let's have a conversation because at the end of the day, what we're trying to do, like we like we said, is to is to impact and to inspire, um, not to be know all or feel like this is the final this is the final stance on whatever we're talking about. So feel free. We had a good. We I want to say thank you before we go forward. I want to really say thank you for for those who. Um, send their send their comments and and, and um, show their for better word respect for what uh, for the show for the last show really appreciate it. Um, it it's it's the inspiration that is needed to keep trying to send the right message because oftentimes I feel like you have to be entertaining and you have to be. You have to create some amusement for you know people to want to truly listen. I think every time it comes to the, the to the serious aspect of life, there's there's a boredom there. Um, so I, I get it. So I appreciate those who stay around and who you know share um, who share their gratitude and who say thanks for the show and and, and thanks for what you said is something that could move me forward. It just need one. If you've, if you know, it said if if this was one, we would have saved Sada Mangamar. If it was one, so that is that is how important that is how important one is. So if we could get one to change the decision, that decision that would have been fatal, that decision that would have put you in extra trouble, uh, that decision uh, that would have ended your life, that decision that could have ended your career. If we could make you turn around and say, yes, this purpose, there is something important about my life, then, then we we are happy. 
because we're fulfilling our purpose in our lives. Training cannot get you better. What is that? What is that? It's important to understand the definition of training. We cannot change the order of, 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 a, of a source. If a source sets, sets the precedent that this is how things work, we cannot change that order. Where did the word training come from? You know, doing some research, um, the root word, the Hebrew word there is chanak. What is chanak? What is chanak? It means dedication. That is what training is. Training, the word, the, the, the root word, is chanak, and it means dedication. So we learn about training, and we establish training in our lives in every aspect, soccer, tennis, work, everything. We talk about training because it's a principle. Training is a principle. It's a principle that was established from the beginning of time by the source of life. You know, a lot of us use, um, you know, consciously or unconsciously, maybe we use the word train because it, it it started in Proverbs 22 and 6 when it says train up the child in the way they should go. Train up. That word training was there. But what we didn't know was the meaning of the word. Chanak, dedication or dedicate. However you want to, however you want to put that. So if you if you read that over again, it would it would read like this. It would mean dedicate the child that was given to you back according to his ways. I try and say that again. Maybe maybe the person at the back will get it. So the word training is not just a word that came out of the sky for for Sako. The word training is a principle. And we cannot change principle to, to, to facilitate what our ideas, what our, our ideas are. We can't change principle to, to make it fit in terms of context and all and all manner of things. If the source establishes something, that is what it is. That is what it is. And if you and if you don't understand, that means maybe you're not connected to the source. So Maybe you need to go back and, and try and, and figure out how you connect with the source so that you don't start redefining words to fit context. So the word training means to dedicate. And dedicate, if we read the same thing um, in this way, is to dedicate the child that was given back to his way. Whose way? The source. So we must be careful when we take ownership of the seed that was given to us. You see, one thing about this show, you I always have to, you know, regardless, I I I I pride myself in terms of coaching and 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 even playing the game with doing so based on principle. It's a hard thing. It's a hard thing. Because as a as as a human, you 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 have this emotion, and these these emotions can, you know, things can trigger it to go different in different direction. But it's very important to be aware. You must never get caught unaware. To be caught unaware is very dangerous. And I'm establishing it from this point of view, because you 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 you. You know, oftentimes people people want to have an argument of what is right and what is wrong. But when you establish principles directly from the source, you can you you can say whatever you wish to say. You cannot change the fact because it's not my fact. It's not my context. It's not my ideas. It's not what I think. This is. This is coming directly from the source, the one that allow you and I to have the breath of life right now. So when we use the word train, if we're not, if we're not 
doing the will or we're not returning the player back to what the source requires of them, then we're not getting better. Remember what we said, right? We want to eradicate perception. We want to eradicate perception. We want to add value to your life, to raise your awareness and your consciousness so that you would not be left behind wondering what is happening, what is going on in my life. It's very important to understand that. It's foundation, right? And I'm making this point um, because you have to establish principles in what you're doing. We are not morally equipped to go off of our own ideas and what we think. We're not. There's no perfect being, only a perfect source. So if we choose to go, if we choose to create in our own minds what we think something is, we're doing ourselves a really, we're doing ourselves a disservice beyond what we can expect or imagine. Because we cannot change principle, guys. For you who are now coming in, I want to say hi, good night. Please do share. Please, please do share. Share this. This is important. This is important. It might not be, it might not just be about soccer. It might be just about, it might be about life. It might be about everything that you're doing because we train to do everything. Excuse me. We train to do everything. And if you're now showing up, training don't get us better. We'll talk about what actually gets us better. Because we have to dedicate and we have to rededicate. Based on his will, anything outside of that, you're disqualifying yourself of achieving what you so desire to achieve. We cannot change principles. Um, just like we cannot change what A is and what B is and what C is. They're principles. So A in Guyana is A in America. A in America is A in China. B in Pakistan is B in Spain. Because they're principles. You can't change principles. So when this word was established, train, train, it, it presented a certain behavior that defines a specific character. I'll say that again. When this word was established, train, because it was established by a source as a principle, that you can that you and I cannot change. We can't we can't just fit it into soccer and say it's just for soccer. We can't fit it into uh, uh, into nothing else without understanding its principle, because principles don't change, especially when it's established by the source of life. Stay with me. Stay with me. Come on. Listen, I'm. This is no religious show. If we want to live, if we want to live a, a meaningful life, if we really want to live a productive life and do away with all of these things that we have to deal with, all of these fears and, and what people can do to us and how they can destroy our integrity and our character and all of these things, we, we better know we need to get back on, on board with the source and understand principles that we can reestablish re and, and truly walk with our purpose to, to really fulfill life. So this principle train 
what we what we talk so highly about in soccer. Um, and before I knew this, I listen. I was I was just like I just think we needed to go out and you need to work hard and you need to train and you need to you need to follow the curriculum and the, and and do all the fancy things, the game models and all of these things. I listen. But it's important if you truly understand purpose, you will grow. So it was to establish and, and, and represent a certain behavior that defines a specific character. That creates this image. That is a representation of the image uh, that outlines purpose. So we were made in his image and in his likeness, right? So you establish train because we, we had to be a representation of his image. So if you're training to create your own image and to create your own likeness, disqualifying yourself from being as great as you want to be. It's an important story that you need to know. That is why I'm saying that. That you really need to depend on purpose if you're gonna if you're gonna truly truly achieve what you're dreaming so big about what you work you think you're working so hard to achieve you what you think you can buy what you think about uh, uh, establishing environment because they have fifty to five thousand kids and they go to all the tournaments and all of these things. I'm not speaking to you who feel that you're on that part and you're making it and you're doing awesome. And I'm talking, I'm talking to the ones who you, 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 there's such a deep desire to be successful. There's such a deep desire to achieve these dreams. You dream about it. Some of you, you go in your room and you cry because you feel like, you know what? I think I'm giving my all, but this, I, I just, I'm just, I, I just can't figure it out. Trying to help you tonight. Not help you. I'm trying to raise your awareness and your consciousness because I can't help anyone. I don't have the ability to do such. You see, when I was when I was younger, you know, talking about this image and 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 and, and this and establishing this character, this behavior that I identify. With a character that return you to the image in which you were created to represent. You see, I had a desire from a very tender age. I had a crazy desire that, you know, a lot of people didn't understand to the point where, you know, people even close to you would tell you, you you're wasting your time. Those are the ones you have to be really careful of. The ones who are very close to you. Because you tend to trust the people who are closest to you. You know, if somebody say it on the outside, you just be like, hey, whatever, you, they, they don't know what they're saying. But when people close to you start, you know, start telling you about what you're trying to do based on societal expectations and the representation of success, you know, it does something to you. Let me just say, it does something to you. And I said, boy, you're wasting your time. They didn't, they, didn't, they didn't even stop there. Um, what you guys call middle school, we call what? Standard one in, in the Caribbean. Um, you know, one teacher told me, like she said, <laughs> you will be an illiterate. Maybe I went there halfway. I'm not fully there. I, I know. I know. But she said, you will be an illiterate and end up on the streets doing absolutely nothing because when the standard for the, the, the boys in form one form two form three playing and we have a game I'm not going to name the school so people start say start asking who said that to you boy no but they will they will come for me because they felt like I could play I, and I would go and I would 
you know, I would do damage. So they would come off there. And every time I would leave, I would hear that you will be absolutely nothing. Because I, I had this crazy passion, you know. I will literally, I will literally go against the order of the parents and go out and play and find myself behind some whips and some lashes. But I will still go. And when I couldn't go, it was a tantrum because there was something, there was something inside of me that had this desire to do great things with Sarko. But you thought it stopped there? You believe it stopped there? No, it didn't. I mean, high school, we're talking about career days. We're talking about career opportunities and what you want to do. And, and obviously, the moment came when I, had to, when I had to get up and say, what, what I want is a career. And I remember saying, listen, I want to be a professional and international player. That is my desire. You would, you would think I was a comedian because, boy, from the, even down to the teacher was laughing heartily. The entire class was laughing. They were having a good time. You know? <laughs> but now more than ever, I understand. And that might be happening to you. You might have a desire to do something. You might, it, there might be this, this, uh, you might feel in this passion to do what you want to do, but nobody's seeing the money in it. Nobody's seeing the, the they're not seeing the future in it. And you can't expect them to because it's, if it's purpose, then it's only one person can, can navigate you through that process. It's the source. This is why I started the show with, with establishing the principle of the word. Because I came to realize that what I wanted to do didn't matter to the to the to the teacher, to the to, to, to my classmate, to no one, especially the teachers, which they were responsible for training me up, to getting me prepared for what I was given to make an impact, to to return me to the image that I should represent. They were, they were tasked with that responsibility. But look at it. One said, absolute waste of time. Two said, illiterate. You will be nothing. You'll be on the streets, hanging out. The third one said, boy, oh, you funny. You're not even making sense. And then they got, then they, they got the crowd uh, to support them. That might be you. No, but understand this fact. Most people's job that are quick to speak in this manner, don't be offended. Don't be hurt. A lot of times it's not intentionally trying to, to destroy you. It's what they know. People can only do what they know. They can only do what they know. It's important for you to know. And this is why we this is why we sharing it from this perspective. And not just going on a field and kicking a ball. But it's deeper. Because it's a principle that was established for a purpose. Because without that purpose. You will never get better. You can train from now till next year. And when you feel like you're getting better, you will find yourself in a position asking, what, what happened? How many people you know was looking so successful and when that part of their life ended, you like, what happened? What happened to them? You see, they were there. Their job was to train. Their job was to, to train me up in their curriculum and in their teaching, through their teaching of subjects. 
They didn't understand their responsibility because their responsibility was to train purpose. And you give yourself this opportunity to, to, to guide people, to teach people, to coach people. You have to try and be connected with the source so that you truly understand your job. Understand your work, not your job. They truly had a job. There's a difference. We'll talk about that another day. Their job, they, their work was to train purpose. Their job was to train through a curriculum. And it's just like many other people. But you say, well, well, we work in, we, we we are doing our best to 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 help our our, our athletes, our, our student. In my case, we're doing the best to help our student. But did you truly under excuse me, did you have an understanding of what my purpose was? Because to train Chanak is to dedicate. It's dedication. It's returning someone to the will of the source. Through his will. Not your will. Not what you want to see. Not what you believe. Not what you think is right. You were given a gift so that you can return so that you can show reciprocity by returning it to the source. It's not for ownership. See, a lot of our players go to the field for recreation. You know, I'm there for I'm there to have fun. Some we're training to be professionals. We train to be international stars. Um, we are training. Our monies has the reason. Our monies is the reason for the questioning, and and that is why we that's why we put the child in here to train. And and if we miss a day, we want five days. And if we if it's a seventy, if it's an hour ninety minute session, and you train for hour, where's our thirty minutes? But these questions are useless. These ideas of training is useless. Because unless it establishes the principle that is the basis of building our character, building our character, Building our character so that purpose could be fulfilled, training could never get you better. And I want you to know, the moment you use the word training, but you don't demonstrate what it is, it does the opposite. I want you to think about that for a second. And I will show you why. If you stay with me just after this break, I will show you why. We'll be right back. This is why we are important. Uh, because we are not catering to what the what the world wants to see. We're not catering to what people's perception is. We're not catering to politics. We're catering to truth. We're catering to right. 
week here to um, to to young people having their own identity and fulfilling purpose. Welcome back to the Coach Kayo Show. You with Kayo Day here. Please share the live, share your comments. Let me know that you are in the room. Um, let's have a conversation. This is very important. I know it's coming from a very uh, tricky angle. It's coming from a very uncommon place. Um, like I said, it's uncommon. You know, we're here um, to impact the lives and to inspire our young people because we see what is happening. We see the struggles. And I know you guys see it too. You know, it's, it's getting out of control. When you start hearing teachers say they don't want to teach <laughs> and they start deciding where they want to teach because they believe it's less trouble, it's, it's, it's less heartache. When you start seeing young people don't want to go to school, they want to, they want to be taught at home. They want homeschooling because they don't want to deal with what is happening within that environment. Something is happening. Something is wrong. We have removed ourselves from principle, regardless if we want to believe it or not. And when we remove ourselves from principle, we create dysfunction. Because we no longer functioning within the order of the source. So we can't just use a word train loosely. We cannot, we, we we could think, we could think and we could believe that that is okay, but you could never, you will never be able to disagree with it. It will show its face. Now or later. When something is principle, it's principle. You cannot change the order. You could try. You know, good luck. You know, I think about you know people who oftentimes say, "Well, well, I go to training every day." Had 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 someone said, uh, "But you train every day. I I'm not seeing you getting better." Obviously, they didn't understand what, what training means. Coaches could say, well, we work on a lot of things and I'm not seeing the improvement. Yeah. Is it something wrong with the principle that you're using? Do you truly understand the definition of that word? Have you seek to go deeper to understand what you're tasked with? Or is it a job? You know, one director told me, he said, you know, this is a job. You just, you know, you just got to go do it, you know. You just got to go do it. This is what pays you. He clearly didn't understand the importance of this word. For him, it's soccer. For most of you, I know. It, it's, you know, it's a soccer. It's just a sport. But I will remind you, you cannot change principle. You cannot, just like you can't change A to B and you can't change C to D. And this is established all over the world. A is A all over the world. Why are you not trying to change it? Because you cannot. It's a principle. Just like the word training. Just like the word train. Chanak, dedication. Dedicate. You can't change the word and, and, and turn it into form it into your own belief system. You are not the source of the word. So if you're not the source of the word, how can you establish meaning? We look and we say, you know. I had this, I had this, this mentor. I would say a mentor, somebody that I would, I would talk to, and very way up in age, very way up in age, very experienced with um, kingdom things. 
because I like the kingdom. Because when everything else fails, you know you you know where you can go. Don't worry, nobody else. Everything is just temporary. But the kingdom is forever. And I was it was told to me. Just relaying what I heard. Do you know a lot of top class performers do a lot of things to perform the way they perform? Do a lot of things. If you have ears, let them hear. <laughs> But what are you looking at? Are you sure you know what you're looking at? What you're looking at, are you sure, is what you're looking at? Because a lot of people, not all, a lot of people do a lot of things. To perform the way they perform. You see, purpose is always an uphill task. Purpose must purpose must be tested for authenticity. It must be tested. So it's not easy to live a purpose-driven life. It's not easy. You, you, you're probably going to get knocked down sometimes. Because it's true principle. It's true principle. When you understand principle, then you start functioning it with purpose because it establishes your character. You have to fight. You know, I know me. You have to fight for your character. Because there's many things that could caught you, that will that will find you unaware. They will find you unaware. So I look at, you always see the unknown or the uncommon thing happening that will rewrite history or will, will, will blow people's mind away. Which brings us to, which brings us to the nudge of the week. Uh, we've seen a, a whole lot of uh, exciting things, uncommon things happening um, during this week, and we really wanted to recognize because it clearly shows, from a soccer perspective, from a sports perspective, uh, no one can truly determine what the outcome will be. No one can truly determine where they will be. It's important to purposely do what you're doing, excuse me, and allow your gifts to make room for you and bring you before great men. This is the nudge of the week. Shaim all the way. Take a big nudge. We, uh, we see what is happening with St. Peter's University knocking down some big teams. And the, the funny thing is, the assistant coaches with some of those teams' salary is bigger than his and his entire staff salary. But there's, there must be something um, Coach Holloway is doing there that in inspiring and impacting the lives of his players, uh, that raising with, with the little resources that they have, maybe they can't even host 
maybe a thousand, if so much kids. Maybe they have no big money. They, maybe, who knows? But I know something he's doing that could transform where they at to what they can do. That, that needs a nudge. That needs a nudge. Because if we're not impacting and we're not inspiring and we're not bringing about transformation, are you really training? For most parents, players, and many coaches, they show up with the idea of the game in their head from the curriculum. Most coaches. But they come to the field and oftentimes you don't see no plan. You know, they have this idea, this is, this is what I want to see, this is what they should do. But you go to the field and there's absolutely no plan. Because they're, they're bunged down with administrative work. All day. And on top of that, they got two or three teams they, they, they have to focus on. But more so, they still take days off during the week. So they can get some time to rest. What are they resting from? In some cases, people who are tasked with the responsibility to train up so that we so that your your athlete can get better. They they're coming from a job. They're accountant. So they spend all day doing nothing with the sport in relation to the sport and come from a whole different situation. Some actually changing their clothes at the field from office to field. They say they training to get the players better. You have to go back to this word, what it means. Training, it's principle. Training, chanak, hmm. dedicate, return. The players back to the expected behavior uh, that the source requires. It's not a part-time thing. It's not part-time. It's full-time. It's all in. Fully dedicated. To establishing purpose, true principle that forms character and creates an image that is a representation of the source. That is what you're tasked with. That is what you're tasked with, sir. That is what you're tasked with, mom. That is what you're tasked with, mother, father. Don't use it, don't use it loosely. Anything outside of that principle and that foundation, you disqualify yourself to train an athlete, a child, to get better. You see these conflicts, right? You see the rebellion, you see the opposition. You see the lack of communication. Are you truly training up? Why is it the coaches have to go to the field and make everybody feel good? Why sometimes they have to, why they have to put the character, the very character, the very principles they live by and they believe, they have to put it on the side because the child and the parents would not return. Let me remind you, purpose don't need a crowd. 
oftentimes the crowd comes to see you punish. You see, there were only 12 people with the source. When they had to make a decision <laughs> to take his life and to free a, a, a robber, there was a they, they had a big crowd. So it tells me crowd always come to see your fall. The crowd always show up for your fall. They pay attention. They in front of the screen. They go through it a thousand times. What I can't believe he, he did that. Whoa, I can't believe what she did. Did she say that? Wow, I am so I am so disappointed. I am all of these things, but the crowd never show up when you're doing something positive, right? I wonder why. <laughs> oh, what is it? What are they talking about? I, I don't want to, I don't want to listen to that. But boy, oh boy. This is a big issue, you know, you know, in, with our young people. It disqualifies you to train up the players. And players lose their ability to get better because they work in off of an image. You, sir, you, ma'am. are tasked with the image because you are responsible for training up. You are responsible for your word, no, training. I train so I get paid. And you wonder why on the last show, three point something million kids are reporting just in from grade nine and who knows the rest. They're being physic. They're being bullied. Some kids are taking their own lives because they 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 can't deal with what is happening in school. Some kids are saying they don't even like themselves, how they look, what they look like. They don't like the color of their skin because of what is happening to them. And then they show up to practice. But you training. You're developing. You're doing development. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. This, they're not big enough. They're not established enough. They're not all of this. They don't know anything. Who, they're too perm permissive and they, everything else. They're not at that level. They're too this. They're too that. They're working off of an image that is not a reflection of the source. That is why training will never get you better. And there's a reason why our young people are struggling. And I come to tell you, it's because the image that they see, the image that they are confronted with every day, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, sometimes Saturday and Sunday, and maybe an extra work on the site, It's not a reflection of the source. Mental health will continue to plague our young people. Lack of confidence, lack of belief. You know, people are already putting themselves on the low if they're not coming from a certain space or a certain place. Suicidal thoughts will continue to torment our young people. Because we fail to train. We fail to understand the principle of the word. Yet we go out every day and we say, you're going to be better. You're going to develop. You're going to, you're going to, you're going to achieve this. You're going to achieve that. No parents are scared. They are watchful like they should. The struggle will continue. 
because you have a task also. And from this perspective, soccer, the coaches and the organization, the organizations, they have a task. It just can't be soccer. I know this, I know, I, okay, I know. <laughs> but if we go against the order, if we go against the principle, then we're functioning outside of what it should do. We're abusing the word. I'm bringing it down. I'm bringing it down. Stay with me. Stay with me. Got some few minutes. Stay with me. And if you stay with me, make sure you share it. Share it. Because we just can't train. We have to go back. Parents, coaches, we have to go back to that word. We have to go back to that root word. We have to go back and identify with what it really means. Because a lot of times we think we're doing an awesome job and we say we're doing the best that we can and it might be true. But if we don't understand, if we don't understand, we're creating more dysfunction. They say what, they say what parents do in, in, in moderation, the children will do in excess. What coaches do, what they think they're doing and the kids don't know. Remember, it's principle, right? It forms character, right? So once you start being six, seven, eight different people, then you're doing something to that person's image. Because now you become the representation in whatever way you think of what they should be doing and how they should be living. Training can rewire our brain. It can because of our thoughts and imagination. Caroline Lee said that in our book, Rewire Your Brain. She said the natural consequences of our thoughts and imagination get under our skin or of our, of our DNA. That's what she said. She said the natural consequences of our thoughts and imagination, imagination get under our skin of our DNA. The oxyribonucleic acid DNA. The hereditary materials in human, right? Some of you doctors and some of you who are well informed in the medical aspect of things will understand. Nearly every cell in a person's body has the same DNA. So, what are you training? As we go back to the principle of the word. Is the uniqueness. These things can turn certain genes on and off. They could turn on and off. So if something is unique and, and everything is flowing in the same way because everything's supposed to train you up, to lead you back, to knock, to dedicate you back to where the will of the source is, even through soccer. Because you cannot change principle. Please understand what I'm saying to you. Yes, you want to say, well, what do I have to do? It has everything to do with soccer because you call it training. You said you train the players to develop them holistically. That is what you said. You don't say, we train them to be good soccer players. You train them 
to develop holistically. You said player, person first. You never said player first. You said person first. Go and look at it. That is why that is why I'm I'm saying what I'm saying. We say we are developing people first. So if we're developing people first, who is the source of people? Who? And if the source has established the principles to train up, who give you the right to change it and put context? Oh, you see the problem what is existing now in our kids? Because it's not coming only from the coaches. It's coming from home. It's important to understand. It's the important thing to understand what is required of you so that you can lead. You saying something negative about what a child is, 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 is passionate about because you don't understand it is not your purpose. So you have to seek the source guidance, just like if I don't, if I don't mistake, I, I am not biblical, but 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 when it's who oh boy, I'm trying to remember this story until until she said, I will give him back to you. That is the only time she was she had the access to that seed. Because she wanted it for her. You biblical scholars will know the story. Share it as much as you can. She had to release it because if she had made it her own, she would have not got through. But you said. You're about the holistic development. You said it's about the person first. You didn't say soccer. So I'm here to remind you. Maybe this will encourage you to know your task. Because we're going to continue to paint those pictures that is not real. And because of our dysfunction, we are creating dysfunction. Train up, not dedicate, so that they will not turn away from the will, from their purpose. What have you done? What have you done that at 35, 45, 42, 60 people are still struggling with childhood problems? What have you done? What have you done that you have not rectified? But you have the moral to speak about who is what and who is not. What have you done? That is now the representation of somebody have to fight to get themselves to where they want to be. What are you doing to these kids at practice? What are you telling them? What are you encouraging in their lives? What are you not standing up against for the name of money? For the name of being approachable? For the name of keeping your job, what are you doing that is destroying our young people? You must align with your original expectation of that word. You must align ourselves. We all must. I have to go back. I have to reassess. What about you? We have to go back on that journey. If we have to restart, we have to restart. Because we have lives in our hands. He never said train up adults. <laughs> he specifically said children. You cannot develop outside of the source. You cannot. 
You cannot change it. You cannot, you can't form your own ideas. You cannot have context when it comes to principles that was laid down. You cannot. When we come back from this break, I will tell you how you can. But I wasn't going to... Welcome back. Hope you're sharing this show. This is Coyote here. Hope you're sharing it. If they don't see it now, maybe repost it so that they can see it. Maybe they don't need the whole show. Maybe they just need one part of it. Maybe they just need to hear one thing. That will change their perspective. How can you train to get better? How? You might be struggling with your child right now. You don't know what to do. You're afraid. Because you don't know, you 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 can't you, you can't really put a hand on what is really happening. You're seeing different behaviors, you're seeing um, maybe they're disconnecting slowly away from you. Maybe they spend less and less time with you, speaking with you, uh, speaking about what they're doing and what they're not. You might be trying your hardest, but find it really hard to figure out what is really happening. That might be you. Listen, I'm not qualified or have the intellectual uh, buffing, as they would say. But I truly believe that there's a source for a reason. And this uniqueness that each and every one of us have is what empowers us to impact someone, someone, somewhere. Not help them, but to impact them, to inspire them, to bring about transformation because it's it is dependent on the image, the image of the source that constantly reminds you where you need to go. I'll give you one thing. There's many things. But I know you might need to, you might want to go back and listen from the top. So you understand if you just train, Every day, all day, without understanding the principle of that word, it's like some, it's like taking, you know, I love my sisters, but if I put, I put them, at least if I put about one of them on a field every day, she's not going to get better. She's not a soccer player, but she could go train every day. But it's not his will. So I could, I could, I could put her to as much as possible. She can, but if she can easily pass five minutes to the training, but she could do that every day. Is that the dedication that is needed to return? To the will, to his will. That is what he requires. Is that purpose? Some of you are faced with the same thing. So I say to you, before we go, I've kept you long enough. I'm sorry. It's important to. It's important for me to say this so that somebody can hear it because I'm hearing it myself. Have quality people. Have quality people around you. Quality people. 
it's not important. It's, 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 it's this is this is important not because of of the person. Quality people, quality coaches, quality organization. It's not it's not important just because of the person or the persons. But it's because they're connected to the principle of the training process that utilizes it to change short-term behavior to long-term memory. That's what training is about. Train up in the way you should go. That when you are old, the memory of what was taught will continue to grow. When people get in between of that process, if you truly don't understand, you lose or you begin to lose your character. You begin to lose your integrity. That means you are no longer functioning on the principles that were established to take you where you need to be. So don't worry about what nobody can do to you or say. You need to make a difference. You need to make a change. Because anything that is good must have an enemy. It's like how everything up has a dung. Everything left have a right. So whatever you are trying to do that is right and pleasing must know. Everybody knows their heart. They know what their plans are. Simply for you to be aware of that. Don't expect nobody to see it or understand it. If that's what you're fighting for, I wish you the best. It's important that you are aware. And make the necessary changes. Because training is not just a word. It's not just a word for us to throw out there. It's not just a word to say, I'm going to train. I will get better. I'm going to train because I paid to train. I'm going over there and train because I think the training is better. Understand this principle. Study it. Because this principle has kept me from a lot of things. Unconsciously. But now the confirmation is coming. When you look back at your commitment and your desire in the in the face of 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 disbelief in the in 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 the, in the face of doubts in the face of lack of support you kept pushing forward and out of nothing you're in front of a hundred and something thousand people doing the very thing that everybody laughed at Because you understand the bigger picture. And the bigger picture, when it's about purpose, is never for you. Is what I'm sitting here right now doing. Trying with my unintelligent self to impact some young person's life. To say, hey, I can do better. I can change my story. I can rewrite my own story. I could change the narrative. Yes, I'm in a bad situation now, but guess what? If I keep going because I have a desire, my life would be fulfilled and nothing could replace it. 
This is what purpose does. This is what training with the understanding of principle, understanding the principle of that word can do. <laughs> you cannot depart from it. When you train with this understanding of the principle, it established purpose and you cannot depart from it. That is what the source said, not me. Not me. That is what the source says. And what he's still saying today. I'll end with this. I just came across it today. So just like gravity, gravity is a principle, right? Gravity is a principle. I hope we agree. You might not like it. It's just might just it just might be you don't agree with what I'm saying. Maybe it don't make sense. Gravity do. You could choose to dismiss it. A lot of people have. You might ignore it. You might ignore it. But gravity is a principle. You might pray <laughs> night and day for it to change. For it to change. But I guarantee you, if you jump off a building right now, you will die. Because you have no wings. <laughs> because you decided to violate the principle of gravity. Principles don't change. Under no circumstances. Especially when it comes directly from the source. Stay blessed. And I hope you have a good week. A wide variety of episodes are already available, chock full of incredible insight from two qualified experienced coaches. Here are some previews of eye opening quotes. Lots of players think they need to drive an hour or two hours to get good training. Because community clubs do not feel, most of them, if not all of them, don't feel the responsibility to provide every child. The best opportunity. This is for players to have fun. So why not name it Rec? An elite league shouldn't be based on teams. It should be based on the coaching. There's no integrity in the game. It's all about business. It's it, That's all it is. There's nothing about soccer first. Everything is about giving the athletes an experience. We hope you are available to tune in. New episodes every Monday night.